Hi, I'm Paul Dillon. It's cold in Edmonton and I'm here with Simon Moore. We are in the middle of a polar vortex. It's minus 30 right now and we were thinking about frostbite. What are the kinds of things that we need to know for the exam about frostbite? So what's your management? The big mainstay is gonna be rewarming, whether that's external rewarming with forced air, whether you're gonna be using a hot water bath and you're gonna keep that at 40 degrees, you're gonna have a thermometer in there so you're not burning them. And finally, increase the heat of the room and then make sure you've removed any wet clothing that they're wearing. How about vaccination? Is there something we should think about immediately? Always remember tetanus. Even in frostbite, remember to update their tetanus. And that's not the only injection, some other parenteral medication. So think about pain. When I've had patients who've had severe frostbite, the pain is unreal when you're, re when you're thawing them out from the freeze. So you, want, you don't want to stop that thawing, you got to treat the pain. So you think about morphine, you want to give some NSAIDs, some anti-inflammatories, that helps in terms of the, of the blisters. And then finally, Iloprost. There's some recent case series coming out of the Yukon for the use of Iloprost in severe frostbite. And rounding it out with definitive management, when, what's the timeline when it comes to, let's say, amputation for extremities? There's a classic mantra. So you're not gonna be doing early amputation. If you have frostbite in January, it's amputate in July. So it's delayed amputation. Give, give those tissues some time to recover. That's amazing, that's really helpful. I think that's everything we need to know about frostbite. You, I am freezing my buns off right now. Can what, we please go inside? No, no, because what about blisters? What about blisters? Oh no, ah, one last tip. Okay, go ahead, so quick. So if it's clear, you cut it. If you've got clear blisters, you can cut them. If they're hemorrhagic, with blood and stuff in them, then you can leave them. Fantastic. That's it. I'm Dr. Simon Moore from the Review Course in Family Medicine. And I'm Dr. Paul Dillon. Thank with you from cold Edmonton.